A global investigation by several news outlets, including The Wire, The Guardian, The Washington Post, has uncovered that thousands of phone numbers, including around 300 from India, were possibly infected with a spyware called Pegasus. The spyware is a product of an Israeli company called the NSO Group, which has sold it to multiple governments and intelligence agencies in over 40 countries. But what is Pegasus? What exactly is spyware? And how can this kind of tech tap into your phones? Pegasus is one of the most sophisticated and efficient hacking softwares which attacks your calls, messages, passwords, and many other pieces of sensitive private data from your phones. The phone hacking is so good that the owner doesn't even know he or she has been hacked. And that's the major danger of this kind of tech. So how does your phone get infected? Once the hacker or organization decides to hack the phone, it can be done in many ways. Either clicking on a link that allows the software to backdoor into the phone or using a security bug through voice calls, say through WhatsApp. Or even worse, a spyware like Pegasus could be installed on your phone by just receiving a missed call from an unknown number. Once installed, it would just delete the missed call from your call log. So once installed, what harm can it actually do? Plenty, to be honest. Spywares collect everything from your phone. And if you're like me, that's pretty much your entire life. Emails, texts, messages from social media apps like Instagram and Twitter, photos, calendar appointments, notes, your location data, and data from all the apps you've downloaded. Even encrypted chats like WhatsApp, fall prey to this kind of tech. It can also turn on the microphone and camera without the knowledge of the user. All this information is available to the person who infects the phone. Basically, it can spy on every aspect of the target's life. So how scared should we be? Cyber attacks like these have cost companies and people billions of dollars. The worst one clocking at $38 billion. It's used for insider trading, stealing company data, credit card fraud, and stealing identities online. By now, you're probably wondering, how do I prevent such spyware from hacking into my phone? Don't worry. I'm getting to that. Big tech firms have beefed up their apps to protect against the latest spy tech. So if you're up to date with iOS 14 or Android 11 and have the latest versions of apps like WhatsApp, etc., downloaded, you don't really have to be worried about these kinds of spyware attacks. That being said, surveillance tech is improving and developing every day. And it's only a matter of time before they find ways to work around these patches. But large scale surveillance tech is very, very expensive, going into the millions of dollars. So only big companies and governments would likely be able to afford it. See, hacking of privacy and surveillance software is being used isn't really a new thing. Reuters reported just in March 2021 that a Chinese state-backed hacking group allegedly made use of vulnerabilities in the softwares of Indian vaccine makers Bharat Biotech and Serum Institute of India. So now that we know all of this, what are the best ways to safeguard your data? Firstly, don't click on any unverified links. Second, update your softwares, read up about the patches installed and the bugs removed. Add more layers of security to your phone, like two-step verification and multiple device authorization. And mostly, just be vigilant about sensitive information like bank passwords, transactions, and other things on your devices. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We love breaking down these kinds of complex issues, talking about finance, technology, and other stuff. So if you have something you'd like us to cover, tell us in the comments.